Asia is the largest part of the world. Its territory spans 44.5 million square kilometers, and its population exceeds 4 billion people. Asia is home to many archaeological wonders, such as the Great Wall of China and the ancient city of Petra. Scientists continue to discover astonishing finds here that sometimes shock and confound all of modern science. It's these discoveries that I will tell you about in this video. Enjoy watching! On May 7, 2022, the residents of the city of Zhou Shan were genuinely scared. The cause was an anomalous phenomenon during which the sky over the city turned a bloody red. Seeing this, people thought that the apocalypse had come and all of humanity would soon be wiped off the face of the earth. This phenomenon indeed looked shocking. Videos of the bloody sky over Zhou Shan garnered over a hundred million views. Frightened people bought up groceries in stores, left their homes, and fled the city. When the residents realized that nothing terrible was really happening, they became interested in knowing what could have triggered this anomaly. And the reason for it was found quite quickly. It was very foggy in Zhou Shan that day. According to scientists, the sky turned red due to the refraction of light in foggy conditions. As it turned out, red spotlights from fishing boats were to blame for all this. Located 120 kilometers from the Chinese city of Kunming is an amazing place, which has been considered the first wonder of the world since the Ming Dynasty. This is the Xilin Stone Forest. It covers an area of 400 square km and includes three stone forests, lakes, waterfalls, and caves. Its main attraction is the multitude of tall stones, reaching up to 50 meters in height. This place amazes not only with the sharpness of the peaks, but also with some stones resembling man-made sculptures of animals, people, and even plants. The stone forest truly looks like a real miracle. Geologists believe this place is an example of karst topography. This accumulation of tall stones was formed over 270 million years ago as a result of limestone weathering. Earlier, there was a shallow sea in the Shilin area. During the Permian period, a large amount of sandstone covered with limestone accumulated here. Under the influence of water and wind, part of the limestone collapsed, resulting in the formation of the stone forest. Shillin is an incredibly picturesque place, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The stone forest is famous for the most ancient history of the evolution of karst forms of relief, as well as the unique forms of the Paleozoic karst community of stone forests. In August 2021, Chinese paleontologists from Hebei GEO University made a shocking statement that the history of human evolution would include another type of human that existed more than 146,000 years ago. Their research revealed that another evolutionary branch of Homo existed on Earth during the Middle Pleistocene. Apparently, it was this branch that the Homo longi, or Dragon Man species, belonged to the remains of which were found in Harbin, on the Manchurian Plain. Amazingly, the skull was accidentally discovered as far back as 1933 by a Chinese construction worker. At that time, the man decided not to tell anyone about his discovery and hid it in a deep well. Before he died, he told his grandson about the hidden human remains. Thus, the skull of the Harbin Dragon Man came into the hands of scientists only in 2018. The skull of Homo longi was large for hominids of that time, almost matching the size of the modern human skull. At the same time, it had a number of archaic features. These are large square eye sockets, massive eyebrow arches, a large mouth with very large teeth. After thorough analysis, it became clear that the skull indeed belonged to a previously unstudied type of ancient humans who lived here more than 146,000 years ago. Scientists named this species Homo longi or Dragon Man in honor of the place where the discovery was made, as the word long in Chinese means dragon. Interestingly, Homo longi are considered the closest relatives of modern humans. The discovery of this species of humans is recognized as the most important find for paleontologists. Homo longi represent a separate branch of humanity that existed for several thousand years in East Asia and ultimately became extinct. In 2007, 
Internet users raised the alarm when they discovered using Google Maps that Lagover Melho Lake in Baghdad had turned blood red. Information about this find quickly spread and began to be actively discussed. Some people suggested that the water had acquired such a color as a result of cleaning measures using chemical substances. Some users believed that the cause of this phenomenon was water vegetation and bacteria. For example, the water in Laguna Colorado Lake in Bolivia is red due to a large number of certain types of algae and sedimentary rocks. Most users held the opinion that the change in the water color in the Baghdad Lake was due to local slaughterhouses. Supposedly, the blood of animals was being drained into the lake. But Lago Vermelo is a fairly large body of water, and there would hardly be enough blood at slaughterhouses to fill it completely. As you can see, there were many assumptions, but the cause of this abnormal phenomenon was never found out. By the way, this lake has now stopped being colored red. At the end of February 2023, a resident of the Japanese city of Hamamatsu accidentally discovered a large metal ball on Ensuhama Beach. The police and bomb disposal squad were immediately dispatched to the scene. The area near the one and a half meter sphere was cordoned off. Law enforcement officers tried to understand what this object was, where it came from, and whether it posed a danger to the population. Japanese media published photos showing that the sphere had a smooth beige surface with brown spots, similar to rust. There were protrusions, with holes on both sides of the object, reminiscent of the mounting elements of a buoy. Their presence suggested that the ball was actually a buoy. Law enforcement still had suspicions that the sphere could be a sea mine. Therefore, a thorough examination of the object was conducted right on the beach. Using X-ray radiation, it was determined that the inside of the sphere was empty and there were no explosives inside. After this, the cordon was removed. The caution of the Japanese authorities to the unknown sphere was related to recent events in the United States. Off the coast of South Carolina, also in February, unidentified spheres were noticed in the sky, which were immediately shot down. According to U.S. authorities, these could be enemy reconnaissance devices or flying objects of extraterrestrial origin. On a farm not far from the capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka, lived an amazing cow named Rani. At just two years old, she stood only 51 centimeters tall and weighed 28 kilograms. It was hard to believe in the existence of such a small cow. So to see this miracle in person, Residents of the capital and tourists visited the farm daily. Her owner, Hassan Howlader, tried to limit visits to his pet, as she would become very nervous from a large number of people. Rani was also afraid of other cows. She felt most comfortable alone. Hassan Howlader hoped that his charge would grow into a much larger cow, but when he realized that this would not happen, he registered Rani in the Guinness World Records. Unfortunately, a few months after registration, Rani fell ill and died. She received the title of the smallest cow in the world posthumously. Before her, the record belonged to Manikyam from India, who stood 61.5 centimeters tall. Rani was so small because she belonged to a breed of small cows and, in addition, had a genetic disease. However, according to her owner, she was otherwise completely healthy. In 2022, Palestinian farmer Salman al-Nabahin accidentally discovered a mosaic on his land that experts believe dates back to the Byzantine Empire period. The man did not understand why none of the olive trees he planted could bloom. So he and his son decided to dig up the ground and stumbled upon a well-preserved mosaic depicting birds and animals. Of course, Salman was very pleased with this discovery and hoped it would change the life of his family. The man told the Palestinian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities about the mosaic, whose representatives ordered him to stop excavations until further archaeological research was conducted. It is believed that the mosaic dates back to the 4th century AD. The study of this artifact is still ongoing, and if these assumptions are correct, the find of an ordinary farmer will become one of the most valuable discoveries in Palestine.
The ancient city of Shimao in Shanxi province was discovered by archaeologists back in 1976, however. Full-scale excavations at this site only began in 2011. The city, located on a total area of 400 hectares, was built in 2000 BC. It was surrounded by two stone walls, each with a thickness of 2.5 meters. The perimeter of the outer wall was 6 kilometers, and the inner one more than 4 kilometers. The walls housed gates and towers. This structure helped local residents escape from the nomad raids. Inside the city, there was a large 11-step pyramid-shaped structure, which, according to scientists, was a palace complex. In Shimao, houses, craftsmen's workshops, and cemeteries were also built. During the excavations, archaeologists managed to discover frescoes with geometric patterns on the inner wall, as well as pieces of jade, which apparently served as a protective talisman. Animals and 80 human skulls were buried under the city gates. Likely, during the construction of the defensive wall, local residents performed sacrifice rituals. Archaeologists also found about 30 stone reliefs, some of which contained images of anthropomorphic creatures with monstrous faces. Interestingly, similar drawings have already been found, but belong to later periods of the Shang and Zhou dynasties. The discovery of the city of Shimao was significant for Chinese archaeologists, as it is considered one of the largest among the ancient settlements of China. In addition, a multitude of artifacts were found in this place, which will help scientists learn more about the culture and customs of people who lived here over 4,000 years ago. In the small historical Indian town of Lepakshi lies the impressive Virabhadra Temple, which is awe-inspiring in its grandeur and beauty. This town was not chosen for the construction of the sacred place randomly. According to legend, the demigod Jatayu, in the guise of a hawk, tried to prevent the king of Ayodhya from taking Sita, Rama's wife. In his vain efforts, he was wounded by the king of Lanka, Ravana, and fell to the ground where the temple was later built. When Rama arrived at the scene and saw the wounded bird, he whispered, Lepakshi, which translates as Arise Bird. The Virabhadra Temple was built by brothers Virupana Nayaka and Varana in the 16th century. The temple was executed in the typical style of Vijayanagara architecture, evidenced by the extensive amount of carvings and paintings almost all over the structure's surface. Walls, columns, and ceilings are adorned with scenes from the Mahabharata, Ramayana, and Purana epics, each of which can be scrutinized for an eternity. The temple was built in honor of Virabhadra, a fierce incarnation of the supreme god Shiva. On the temple ceiling, there is a fresco dedicated to this deity. Its dimensions are 7.5 meters by 4.2 meters, making it the most massive fresco in India. In the front part of the temple stands a giant sculpture of Shiva's devoted servant and friend, the bull Nandi. Nandi's height is 6 meters and its length exceeds 9 meters, the sculpture is entirely carved out of a single piece of stone and is one of the largest monolithic sculptures of its kind. In addition, the temple has a giant footprint that locals believe belongs to the goddess Sita herself. The Virabhadra temple is full of marvelous creations of religious art, but the most popular attraction of this place is the hanging column. The base of one of the 70 columns in the temple literally hangs in the air, touching the ground only at one edge. To verify this, many tourists pass scarves, sheets of paper, and many other things under it. Interestingly, once a British engineer decided to uncover the secret of its construction and possible support. To do this, he tried in every way to move it. After his attempts, the column shifted slightly and is now located away from its original position. The mystery of why only one column was designed in such a way remains unsolved. Moreover, it's also unclear how the inner structure of the building supports its massive weight over so many centuries. The Tarim mummies are the greatest archaeological find of the 20th century, which caused scientists to completely reconsider their theory about the first settlers in Asia. Back in 1978, during excavations in the northern part of the Central Asian province of Xinjiang, Chinese archaeologist Wang Binghua discovered a burial ground containing 113 mummified human bodies. 
Over the next 25 years, Chinese and Central Asian archaeologists continued to explore the surrounding area and found over 300 more mummies. Due to the political situation in China, scientists were able to begin examining the samples only in 1993. DNA analysis then showed that the mummies belonged to different time periods, from the 18th century BC to the 2nd century AD. Furthermore, the oldest of these mummies were representatives of the first white settlers in the Tarim River Basin. One such mummy was dubbed the Beauty of Lulan. The mummy belonged to a woman about 180 centimeters tall, who died at around 40 years of age, approximately 4,800 years ago. She had a prominent nose, high cheekbones, and light hair. The woman's body was in a woolen shroud, she wore leather shoes, and beside her lay a comb and a straw basket filled with wheat grains. As a result of long-term research, Chinese scientists were able to determine that the Tarim mummies had mixed ancestry, European and Siberian. All these ancient people came to China from Eastern Europe, Central Asia, and Siberia. Moreover, some mummies were found to have textile remnants typical for people living in the Caucasus region. Dr. Elizabeth Barber hypothesized that the migration of ancient people began from the northwestern coast of the Black Sea and divided into two streams. The first migration was to the west, resulting in Celtic and other European civilizations. During the second migration, people moved east to Central Asia and settled in the Tarim River Basin. Thus, the discovery of the Tarim mummies challenged the theory of the isolated development of Western and Eastern civilizations. A human tooth, estimated to be 130,000 years old, was found in the Tam Pa Ling cave in the state of Laos. The initial analysis of the find showed that it belonged to a girl who was likely a Denisovan. This group of primitive people was discovered by scientists in 2010. Denisovan remains were found in the Denisova Cave in Siberia, hence these people got their name. The Denisovans split from the Neanderthals about 400,000 years ago and migrated to Asia. The second place of Denisovan remains discovery was the Baishia Cave in the Tibetan Plateau. And now, thanks to the find in Tampa Ling, scientists have found out that a group of these people existed in Southeast Asia as well. Geneticists managed to identify and prove that some people from Southeast Asia, Australia, and Oceania have Denisovan DNA. However, this did not prove that ancient hominids lived far from Altai and Tibet, as their descendants, Homo sapiens hybrids, could have passed on their genes. The find in Laos has put an end to this question. Now scientists know that Denisovans indeed lived in Southeast Asia. The Gobi is the third largest hot desert in the world, located in Mongolia. This place is shrouded in many legends and mysteries. According to one legend, the Gobi was home to the secret gates to the magical country of Agartha, and the gods themselves descended to this place. At the beginning of the 20th century, during the expedition of the Russian researcher Pyotr Kuzmich Kozlov, the ancient Tangut city of Edsin, also known as the Black City or Karakoto, was discovered. Thousands of manuscript documents in various languages and many Buddhist ritual objects were found at the excavation site. The most important discovery was a Tangut Chinese dictionary. Thanks to it, Russian scientists began to decode the Tangut script. Edzin was presumably founded in 1032 AD and became one of the leading trading cities of the Tangut state. It had many urban buildings such as houses, shops, workshops, and much more. The inhabitants were protected from enemies by walls with bastions. The city was repeatedly subjected to attacks. In 1226, it was attacked but not conquered by Genghis Khan. However, its fortresses could not withstand the attack of the troops of the Chinese Ming Dynasty. And in 1372, the settlement was devastated. Karakoto remained hidden from sight under a thick layer of sand for a long time. Because of this, the buildings and artifacts were excellently preserved, which allowed scientists to obtain an incredible amount of valuable information about the Tangut Kingdom. For almost any person, 
Even the appearance of a single cockroach in the house causes panic and a desire to destroy it as soon as possible. But in China, things are different with these repugnant insects. One of the thriving types of business in this country is the breeding of cockroaches. By 2013, more than 100 cockroach farms had been opened across China. The largest farm is located in the city of Sichuan. There, approximately 6 billion cockroaches are grown annually. In Sichuan, insects are bred in a large building with shelves equipped for this purpose, where food and water are located. The farm even has an artificial intelligence system that scans each cockroach, analyzing its health, and provides the most favorable conditions for maximum insect productivity. You might wonder who needs parasites and who will spend money to buy them, but it turns out cockroaches are needed in many areas of modern society. In traditional Chinese medicine, these insects have long been used. A special tincture is made from them, which helps to cure stomach ulcers and lung inflammation. The farm from Sichuan provides about 4,000 hospitals across the country with medicines made from cockroaches. The Chinese note a positive effect, so the authorities actively support further development of the farm. Another constant client of the farm, of course, are public catering enterprises. For many Chinese, cockroaches are one of their favorite delicacies. With the help of the latest technology, the Chinese have learned to produce livestock feed from these insects, which is much cheaper and prevents the development of many livestock diseases. In addition, cockroaches do a great job of destroying food waste, which partially helps to deal with the country's environmental problems. In 1992, in Longyu County, one of the local residents decided to verify rumors that the local lakes were bottomless. To do this, he began to pump water out of them and noticed strange depressions that resembled grottos. He passed the information about his discovery to scientists who immediately began to research this find. It turned out that the grottos were entrances to 24 underground caves, which were not interconnected. The caves were carved in siltstone, Analysis of stalactites showed that they were built around 221 BC, during the reign of the Qin Dynasty. However, scholars' opinions differ, and some of them believe that this construction dates back to the 500 SBC. The caves were large halls, each of which had an area of over 1,000 square meters and a height of 30 meters. The vaults of each cave were propped up by three thick columns, and people and animals were depicted on the walls. The construction of one such room would require the removal of approximately 36,000 cubic meters of stone. This fact astounded scientists, because in ancient times, there was no special equipment for construction, and to do it by hand, especially in all 24 caves, seems simply impossible. On the walls and ceilings of the caves were traces of rock extraction, namely, many stripes arranged at an angle of 60 degrees. Some scientists believe that these are not actually traces from a construction tool, but special patterns. Similar drawings were depicted on pottery dating back to 500 BC. At the same time, a similar pattern remains after the processing of salt mine walls with a special tunneling combine. Looking at this similarity, one might question, were these caves really built manually? Or did ancient people have some kind of technology, the existence of which has long been hypothesized, but no evidence has been found yet? Some internet users believe that the Long Yu Caves were indeed dug with special machinery not long before their discovery. Thus, the Chinese tried to deliberately create supposedly ancient structures, thereby increasing the flow of tourists to the Zhejiang province. In the early 1990s, in the Turkish village of Orensik, located in southeast Anatolia, local residents began finding intriguing stones. These findings prompted German archaeologist Klaus Schmidt to commence extensive excavations in this area. As it turned out, as early as the 1960s, scientists had suspected that a Byzantine cemetery was situated near the village under a large hill, but they did not aspire to investigate it. During the lengthy excavations led by Klaus Schmidt, a sensational discovery was made. The oldest megalithic complex, Gobekli Tepe, which is over 12,000 years old. Just imagine, this complex is more than twice as old as Stonehenge, 
and the ancient Egyptian pyramids. Gobekli Tepe is a relatively small complex with a diameter of about 300 meters and a height of 15 meters. However, its structures have caused scientists to seriously reconsider the history of human development. Previously, it was believed that there were no civilizations 12,000 years ago. People were engaged in hunting, gathering, and trying to survive in the conditions of wild nature. There was no question of any stone construction, let alone such buildings. But the existence of Gobekli Tepe proves otherwise. The temple complex comprises 20 structures built in the form of a concentric circle of enormous stone pillars. The weight of a monolithic stone could reach 20 tons. Scientific research confirmed that the construction of Gobekli Tepe took several thousand years, indicated by the presence of two layers of the complex. The oldest layer was built approximately 12,000 years ago by hunter-gatherers, while the second one was built 5,000 years later by people who had mastered animal husbandry and farming. Various animal images were found on the complex's columns, including bulls, boars, scorpions, snakes, as well as birds, vultures, and ducks. T-shaped columns also have depictions of human hands. On the territory of Gobekli Tepe, animal bones and some artifacts indicating that rituals were performed at this site were also found. Excavations at Gobekli Tepe are still ongoing. Its discovery has been incredibly important for scientists because its construction confirmed the existence of a previously unexplored but nevertheless developed civilization. And that's all from me. If you liked this video, don't forget to rate it, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Your activity is the best reward for me. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Goodbye.